Welcome back, Meerkat Nation, to Starbound. I played this a bit off camera, and I found one more Hylodal item on a uh, ocean world. We are ready to move on with the uh, story mission and our next boss fight. But first, there's always a but first, right? <laughs> well, make sure to uh, subscribe, like, and share my videos. I would highly appreciate it. Uh, each and every one of you, if you would do so, I need all the help I can get, guys. We need to get this channel growing. We need to, we need to be places, you know. Who are you? Are you a bad guy? There's something else I want to do though before we do the story mission. I want to try to do the uh, mech mission so we can have the mech. There's a snake. Ow. Dude, no, no, ow, 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 and ow. Hey, come back here. No, I don't want the book. Ah, I'm being, my, I'm getting shot up. Got one. Thank you. The townsfolk do not like when you have your weapon out, so you gotta put that away almost immediately. Or you're gonna get, like, hated. But we're gonna try to do the mech mission so we can get our mech going. I haven't really messed with the mech too much. I always usually do the mission, then I pretty much stop and don't really use it that often. But I might use it in this playthrough. Alright, now we're good. Alright, I'm going to leave this planet. Actually, I'm going to check out what they had at this little camp. Real quick. Wow, they were protecting 60 pixels. Good job, guys. Well, we're going to go back to the Ark. Actually, yeah, we're going back to the Ark. But I want to show you guys the mech. Alright. I like how my character is more of an orange color, but yet my uh, beaming animation is pink. Maybe it's just Nova Kids. How much is this? 10,000. I got 20,000. Yeah, we'll buy it. We need up upgrades for our ship. Shady Sparrow ship upgrade. I'll upgrade your ship now. I'm sure you'll be pleased with the level of craftsmanship. I do want to show you guys the uh, process of getting upgrades for your ship on the normal way, but that's the way if you want. If you don't want to do it the normal way, then you can use this guy to get your ship upgrades. And the normal way is that you have to recruit new crew for your ship. And to recruit new crews, you go onto planets, you find cities, uh, settlements, whatnot. And then they'll have, they'll have a little exclamation point like this uh, penguin has, uh, has here right here. And if they have this, you can do their quest for them. And sometimes they have a chance of wanting to join your crew. So if you find uh, on the planet surfaces, you find this marker over everybody. Try to do their quest because you could get new crew. The more crew you have, then it's like certain amount of crew maybe like three crew or two crew will get you the first upgrade and then it gets bigger and bigger as it goes hey there friend i'm dr Ak akagi that's a weird name akagi and i deal in robotics so i have this experimental module space mech in need of a test drive and my usual pilots are indisposed could you do me a favor and fly it uh, through my test course? Just talk to me when you're ready to go. Sure. Yeah, let's go. Oh, that's cool animation. Look at this animation. That's your mech animation. I'm getting some serious frame drops. You are now suspended in a zero gravity environment. This mech you are piloting is designed to travel through space. I would strongly advise that you do not attempt to exit. They don't never give you enough time to read those. I can read pretty quickly sometimes, but it's not quick enough. 
Uh, you got weapons. And you do have a power meter. This blue meter is your power meter. So basically your battery. And it does run up constantly as you go. You gotta shoot the targets. And where you aim your mouse is where you're gonna be shooting. It's hard to stop moving though. I think shift, no shift doesn't do anything. I was thinking maybe it could be a break. There we go. This test course is not really that difficult. Your mech switches to a ground movement configuration when in an environment with gravity. I would advise you continue to proceed in your mech. But yeah, if you get these mechs, you can uh, travel on, or you can go onto world surfaces or planets using it. Please aware of your mech's energy reserves. Re visualize as the blue bar you can see above your vehicle. Your mech's energy will deplete over time when the vehicle takes damage. Alright. It looks like a bolt or something up there. Can't do anything with it though. I think you can if you destroy enemies. Hostile entities uh, exist in zero gravity environments. My Cosmo to what? My records indicate that it, defeating them may result in getting batteries and loot. I couldn't read that word. <laughs> Hope you guys can. That was a weird word. I don't think I've ever seen that word. Probably heard of it, just never seen it. So you get batteries from the enemies, and the batteries allow you to recharge your bar, or basically your health. The mech is too large to continue through this area. Press E to enter the air, or enter and exit the mech. Advise that you proceed on foot. Can I scan anything? Oh, I can scan. I want these doors. They're cool. You appear to have completed Dr. Akagi's test. Of course, I must declare that I am curious as to how uh, such a large ship came to the abandoned blah blah. I can't read that fast enough. Man, I need a I need to hop up on my uh, reading skills. Reading skills suck. <laughs> Yeah, I got this uh, new game. I'm going to be playing it on Sunday, so make sure to check that out. I usually don't record on Sundays, but I'm going to probably... I wanted to make Sundays into a live streaming day, but I'm going to switch it to for now. I still want to do live streaming, but that's going to be in the future sometime. But what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to make Sundays my uh, throwback Sundays, because i got a lot of old games from different genres and you know different years so I'm wanting to make that throwback Sunday so I'm gonna be playing a new game I got this the other day I don't have that much money but they have this game on sale on Steam and I could afford it it was called dusk made by new uh, new blood interactive and uh, this game looks awesome because I'm a big fan of doom quake hexen heretic all those old shooters so look forward to that this Sunday. And please come join me when it comes to me recording that. Or actually when when it goes up on my channel. You made it back. That's not so no not surprise in what that's not surprise in my voice. It's a elation. As a reward I can give you enough spare mech components for you to employ, deploy your own mech for space travel. Head over to that mech assembly station to customize it. Ooh, cool. This right here? Or this? Marshall 00 mech body. Basic mech boosters. Basic mech legs. Okay. Ah, oh, here's your mech. This is what my mech looks like, and you have different body styles and stuff, but you have to learn them by doing quests for him and finding them on uh, derelict space stations or the anomalies. And it tells you energy, power, usage, and all that stuff. This is my uh, cannon. Then you got a drill for mining. Mining is a good place to get some uh, ores. But depending on the uh, difficulty of the, the solar system, is that that's how you determine what's going to be there as an ores. I don't have a horn. Well, I can change the color.
Hmm. Kind of want like a blue or orange. Let's try this blue. Do I have an orange body? Or a red body? There we go. Sweet. We got ourselves our uh, mech. He has new missions for me, but they are kind of difficult, and I have not been able to beat those. So we're going to go... Before we start the main mission, I want to go back to uh, putting some stuff up. My inventory is full. Yay, we got a new section. We can put more chests down. Look at all this. All that space. I found uh, collars. I got healing collar for my pets. There's a. Uh, I don't usually use the pet mechanic in this game because it's not that great. And the item I uh, scanned for the high lottle to get to finish that little bit that was left was this music box. I found this music box. And it plays the main theme to Starbound when you're on your like planet surfaces and whatnot. That was the last thing I had to scan. I just found it randomly on an ocean planet when I was playing this off camera to finish things up. Where did I put my stuff? Oh, here we go. We got stuff here. Yeah, I found this sword in the last episode, but it's kind of disappointing because it's really slow. Found this stuff. A poison axe. Found this pistol that does a tiny bit more damage, but in DPS forms, it's minus two damage per shot. This one's 2.3, so it's only a 0.3% you know, increase in damage. And the energy per shot is more. And I think it's fire rate is slower. Yeah, a little, it's a little slower. Electricity, electricity. I want to give it a shot anyways because I want to see how well. I don't know. That actually might be handy. So let's switch the gun out for this one. Keep going to the same chest. You go into an empty chest. There we go. Empty chest. All day. I got this grenade launcher that has high energy use, means it's not really useful. A two handed giant sword. Oh, it turns into a giant sword. 18, 16, and yeah, not worth it. Two handed swords are usually slower than other weapons. Oh, and I did, uh, when I was on the ocean planet, I switched out my helmet for the, for the snorkel. I just found a random snorkel and I got an ocarina or an ocarina however people like to say that it looks like the ocarina of time still got my healing staff and I got uh, another healing collar for pets and a damage collar too for pets but there's stuff I don't like about pets in this game because what I'm trying to say is that when you got your capture pod and you got pets they are weak. I mean, the pets are very weak. I need to keep sanding glass on me. There we go. Everything else can go, I guess. I'm going to go through here and make sure I don't... I don't want to make more spots for the same stuff I have somewhere else. This should be like auto stack like in Terraria. Oh, wrong chest. Wrong chest, guys. Wrong chest. You hear my furious clicking of the mouse. <laughs> well, I don't want to. I just. I don't want to like have two stacks of the same thing in two different chests. That don't make any sense. What does this button do? Oh, it just straightens up my inventory. Now, uh, I'm gonna use this chest uh, for this stuff because I got a lot of stuff in here. Actually, before we do that. I want to do, I'm going to start the, the main quest, but I'm going to go to my home planet because I want to go to the workstations. Because I got all that titanium, I want to see if I can make anything with it. Oh, cotton, 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 cotton. I need to water these, don't I? I haven't been back to my planet really in a while. Alright, let's see, can I upgrade? Let's make this titanium... 
I'm gonna make 187 bars, but I'm going to actually stick with 100 bars for now. That's a good thing they go quick too. Look at that fast melting. Wow, that is rapid. <clears throat> My throat feels like it's like, nope, I'm not going to talk today. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, dang, I just dropped them all on the ground. This is what's bad about the inventory space. It's never enough. Where do I want to put ores? I want to put them on my ship, but... Do I have anything in this chest? No. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put away the weird stuff that... are very specific... for a furniture building. Like this stuff here. All the rest of this, I think this is for furniture building. These are for potions and stem packs and dyes, so they're useful, I guess. I need to get some more of this. I like having a huge stack of that at all times. That opens up a few spaces for me. Let's see if that guy's going to sing for me. told you guys they they whistle at you and they they, they sing the uh or they whistle the tune of starbound i think it's cute all right titanium and silver bars but i do need to upgrade this because it's going to give me the next set of weapons and uh armor oh yeah guys we are rocking now upgrades oh another one Ooh. Copper, silver, and titanium. Man, my copper bar is getting low. But why not? I got the ore. This is durasteel. This is durasteel. And this is durasteel. So we are upgraded to the max at the moment. We got all these cool doors and stuff. These Novakid stuff. Ooh, I like. It's like Star Trek doors or something. What are you getting furniture and stuff? Anything new? Oh, okay. Got dirt still lights and stuff. This is bed. Dirt still bed. Nice. Sale stuff. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Looking for new things. Alright, let's check out this. What do we got? New, new, and new. Here we go. Outlaw stuff. Will it cost silk? Canvas. How do you make canvas? That yeah, just looks. Funky. What is this? It's like a half a shirt. <laughs> Alright, so the cowboy hat is 4518. 4518. So it's a little bit more, of course. 99. Nine. But what about the chest? 75, 30, 15, 15. 50, 22, 5. Yep, yep. It's better. Alright. This is our next goal before we go on to the next mission because I don't want to go fight Ezra Knox with low armor because she is tough. She, I think she's the next boss. And I can tell you right now, she is tough. Alright, what do I need? I need silk. Oh, it's raining. Sweet. I do have silk, so I should be able to make it. But that weird cloth thing, I don't know. Maybe I can't. Maybe I can make that a hope. This thing has not been upgraded. Oh, it's titanium. I just need string. Lots of string. 25. Do I have any string on me at all? Any string, string, string? Uh, no. Wow, that's going to take a big chunk of these fibers. But Well, looks like I'll be doing something off camera. Farming fiber. Alright, I need 25. Here we go. Yeah. A little slower on the build, but... How much does it cost per four? Two. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. You can see the number <laughs> coming down. There it is. Upgrade. Bam. Oh, yeah. Now we can make silk. And this canvas, which requires cotton wool. Which I got cotton wool. I only got nine, though. Was it only one canvas? 
um, silk. So I need one silk there. I got plenty of leather. One canvas, two total canvas. So one silk, two canvas. All right, got it. All right, so one silk, two canvas. Oh yeah, guys, we are ready to rock. Ooh, did you see that? We can make synthetic material. This is used to make the really good healing item. But I don't think I can make that yet, can I? No. I need to upgrade this, but I need Durasteel. Aw, oh, man. No. I want the better healing items. Dang it, guys. No healing items for us. Because you can have these, but there's, there's other things past this that's a lot better. All right, this this shirt looks weird. Maybe that's because that's like a scarf or something. Yeah, I think it's a scarf that goes over his arm, kind of like a uh, the man with no name, which is Clint Eastwood. He always had that uh, poncho kind of thing or whatever it is. He always wears. All right, we're getting an upgrade. You know what I have not looked at is the weapons tab. What do we got? Titanium machine pistol. What is this damage? 1.5 compared to 2.3. But look at that fire rate though. This is only what? 6-1? The fire rate of that is 9-1. And the energy is 2-3. 3-3. This actually might be worth making. It's not that expensive. What is this? Titanium sniper rifle? 22... 08 33 2 piercing shot. You don't have swords and stuff in here. What is up with that? Ah, uh, radiation EPP. I need to make this too. Well, we got everything for it. We might make that pistol. What do you guys think? Let's go ahead and do some copper bars. Ooh, what's this? I need dirt so four. So let's do ten. So we have some for the future. And, uh, we're going to make that pistol because this thing looks sweet. The damage is not great, but that fire rate and that energy use, though. And we're going to build the radiation EPP. This is for the next stage or the next solar systems we are allowed to go to, radiation planets. And I have a, a bit of advice for you guys, by the way. You notice I've been, I got a couple of those cards, these, uh, the augments, don't upgrade, don't put them on your uh, EPPs, well you can because you do find a few of them here and there, but not a lot of them, but you don't want to use them all the time because after you put them on your EPP or whatever your backpack you're wearing, you can't get them back off, therefore you just wasted it, so you see what I just did, I just upgraded this right here, I upgraded my EPP to this up, uh, the later version, I don't know if they updated it and fixed it, but every time I upgraded the uh, backpack, it always took away the uh, augments. It just, they just get deleted. And because of that, there's no point in having it on the previous version of your uh, backpack because every time you did that, you just threw away the augment over and over again. So I always wait to put on augments until I get the last backpack where, you know, it's the, the final one that you, there's no more after that. So, I would like to have augments on here. So, you can see the slot down said augment inserted. Uh, augments allow you to have more health and more damage, stuff as such. But every time you upgrade this thing, it throws it away, which is lame. Damage one augment and fire resist. Well, we'll, go, we'll probably find another one. So, I'm going to put this on there. There we go. So, I do a little bit more damage now. But I wanted to show you how you do that. You, uh, when you pick up your augment, you pick it up and then you uh, right click and not left click, right click on the backpack and it'll put it in the augment slot. I don't know if they updated it and made it where the augment doesn't get deleted every time you upgrade your backpack. But be be warned that this happened to me a lot, and I just decided to never use augments until I get the last backpack. Now we got our new armor, we need to put that on, and this new pistol. We're going to keep the other pistol because I do like it for now. Why is that blue? Oh, this is clothes. Alright, let's take the clothes off. 
I can't hold shift and put down. Oh, man. Yeah, you can't hold shift and take everything off. Uh oh. Uh oh, not safe for YouTube. Put on your pants, man. I just don't know about this visor. It just looks funky. Alright, 130, 130, 275, and 60. So I got a little extra damage here for the augment. So. Well, we got the radiation pack now, so we can go to those new worlds with radiation. You know what would be a better idea? I just came up with this. I just made the new backpack. That means I can go to the higher level worlds. That means I can wait to do the boss fight until after I do that. Because I can find better weapons. Right? You think that's a good idea? Wait to do the boss fight until after we get new weapons? Let's see. Oh, we'll, we'll, we'll rock this weird look for a little bit. Alright, I think I'm going to do that, guys. Let's go to the new worlds. Radiation worlds. Because I want new weapons. It's going to give me a better chance to fighting Azra Nox. This gun sounds weird. But it fires so fast. Where's Mr. Whistly? Whistly, where are you? He despawned. Alright, we're going to go to a radiation world. We're going to get it, because uh, when you get the next upgrade, you go to New Worlds, you get more powerful weapons. And you get the next ore, like Durasteel. What is the next world type? Nope, no temperate. Radioactive star, yeah. Alien, jungle, all dudes. We're going, we're going to jump. We're doing it. We can do the mission later. Because I want to be prepared for Azuranox. That boss kicks my butt. I'm just letting you guys know that they kick she kicks my butt every time I just I don't know why but she she's she's tough so we're gonna go farm for new weapons new gear that's going to even be more powerful than what I got therefore I have a better chance of taking her out I can even fight I it's like the the final boss of this game yeah he can be tough but not as tough as Azernox that is like the hardest fight in the game to me well, except for the special hidden bosses that you can do, side quest bosses. Or like the penguin and stuff, those stuff, those are tough. I think this is just for, yep. I'm going to do the, like I said in the previous episode, I'm going to farm the uh, fuel off camera. Dangerous. A landing site characterized by odd flora, aggressive fauna, and sickeningly high levels of radiation. The area's inhabitants are severely mutated. They're dangerous. Very dangerous. So we're going to have to take this slow. Well, expect me to die several times. Good thing I bought that uh, $10,000 ship upgrade. Because I'm going to die probably con consistently all the time. You all ready for this? It's going to be scary. We're going to deploy the mech too. Sweet. The mech is very weak right now though. So it's best to go back to gentle stars. And then using the mech because the uh, level of the enemies are very low then you then you can farm for new parts and stuff that way what's this group of thing what is these they're creepy man all right i gotta stay on the surface if it gets too tough we're gonna go underground because yeah these this planet is going to be dangerous hey you No, you don't. Nope. See, I got a bit more health. Good thing I got triple jump, right? Oh gosh. So yeah, if you if you jump ahead like this and you try to farm new weapons and stuff, be mindful that the enemies are a lot tougher. Every new planet you go to is going to have tougher enemies and and so forth as you go. I do need to farm this stuff, but I don't want to do it on camera. This stuff I can save off camera and I can farm all I want. So I keep you guys from seeing that. But I do want to look for dirt still. So I can. Oh, I got the new medical kits. Oh, yeah. These are good. These heal up fast. And they got a heck of a regeneration on them. Alright. 
Let's go. We're going to see what we can find on the surface. Is because you can find new chests and whatnot. Underground, you can find a whole bunch of cool stuff. Ooh, look at these trees. Gross. It's all squishy. Are you bad? Yes, you are. His eye came open like... Well, this gun is actually pretty good, dude. It, it, I, it does less damage than my other gun. But that fire rate and the energy use is actually makes it worth it for DPS. Right, let's move on. Is that a chest? Or is it just an eyeball? Ooh, what is that? I'll turn it away now. I don't want I don't want to face that. It looks you. Yeah, it does fives and nines, what I notice. So if you get titanium, build this pistol, it's actually really good. And I could fire it for a while too. There they go. And the energy comes back pretty quick too, so. Oh yeah, guys. We are ready and willing. Oh man. Come on, give me some chests. Give me loot. I want weapons. So uh, what I'm going to do is, um, well, I don't want to, I want to be able to go to these new planets to show you guys. I don't want to do anything off camera. Because we've got all kinds of new planets to explore now since we got the new backpack. Does my uh, sword do any damage? Oh, oh yeah it is. Yeah, don't don't underestimate the enemy though, because they're going to do more damage in the previous area. Every time they hit you, it's going to take like 30 to 40 maybe. Means my health. Uh, I do have the new armor set though, but I don't have Durasteel, and I think that when you get to this point in the game, you're supposed to have Durasteel, or not actually have Durasteel. You have to farm the the ore. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably stay on this planet. Or, uh, actually, does this planet have dirt still on? I didn't even see. Ooh. He only took 10, so it's not too bad. No, we don't. Now, these guys are really armored, so my, my weapon's not doing very much. Of course not. Alright, what I'm going to do real quick before we get on with it. You have seen one of those glitch castles, but we can find some good stuff in there, so don't think that we're not going to. Now, what I'm going to do is go here. We're going to go to the planet we're at right now. And click on it. Yep, we got Durasteel. See this? That's Durasteel. And we got Titanium. So, yeah, we. I'm going to explore this planet on camera for you guys. And I'm going to farm this planet afterwards when I'm off camera for dirt still and maybe stuff underground but I don't want to I want to show you guys everything I find though we're on a whole new new system and new world and I just don't want to you know leave stuff out for you guys but you know I will keep any weapons and stuff I find off camera so what I'm going to do is play off camera just to farm Durasteel on this planet. I'm not going to go anywhere else. I want to save some of the stuff for you guys. Because we got some new world types. Oh yeah. Ha ha. You failed. Oh, we got some poison right there. Come on. Initial hit always does more damage. Oh, why'd you do that? Man, oh, I feel like being poisoned today. <laughs> Hope you're okay with that. So far, I haven't found much, very much treasure, but that glitch castle over there is going to have a lot of treasure for me. You're too slow, bro. Oh, there's a shop right here. What you got? Soldier's trousers? Oh, that's weak. That one's a little bit better, but it's the same level as uh, titanium. Or not titanium, but the... Whatever the last thing was. Can't even remember now. Look at me. Expert of this game. Don't know what I'm talking about. You better not be shooting at me. I'm the good guy here. I'm taking over your bed. That's it. She was not too happy about that. Or he. I don't even know if this is a she or he. But as soon as I got into the bed, they started jumping, saying, Hey, no, don't do that. Ah, oh, you're putting your germs all over my bed. 
if you probably noticed, uh, your character always <laughs> goes into bed naked. <laughs> Ooh, look at this. We got some dirt still. Oh, yeah, guys. It has started. Azra Nox, you're going to be no match for me. Haha. <laughs> no match at all. We're going to be ready for Azra Nox, guys. We are going to be ready. Is this cheating the system? Nah. If they allow you to do this without fighting the next boss, then what's the harm in it? Got ready. I got a, a core. I want this chest though. Kind of like these uh, tech chests. They look neat. Are you an enemy? No. Nope. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the I'm gonna do the underground stuff on my own uh, off camera because I need to farm that dirt still. So when we get to the next episode. We're going to be ready for Ezra Knox. Well, maybe. We might even wait and farm the next planet. Because what if I can make the next pack with Durastil? Then I can have the go to the next tougher planet. Then we can be like get to the point of being max leveled. Then we can be always max leveled to take on any boss in the game. Oh, there it is. The, the, the nano wrap. These are really good. I love these. I like the packs. These are awesome too. But this, this is the best healing item in the game. Right here. I am not joking about that one. Oh, I want this bed. You know, it looks kind of crummy. But I'll take the bed anyways. Whatever. Oh man, oil biome. Oh, this pistol is actually worth it. 100%. Um... Ooh, oil, oil, oil. Are you bad? No. I'm not bad, I'm just a bird. Oil is very useful for several things in the game, so I like collecting it up. Just be careful about stepping in it. You get slowed way down. Which is not fun at all. Man, we're running out of time, guys. You start having fun, you find some new stuff. And time runs out. Story of my life. You got any loot for me? Like that jar? I'll take that. I'll take all those upgrade modules and things. I think uh, after you upgrade everything to max, you can sell these for pixels at the shops and whatnot. So, they're still worth it in the long run to collect. Because I think they fetch a pretty good price. Especially if you give them a stack of them. So, keep them. Oh, jeez. Don't throw your tar ball at me, man. I keep forgetting I have the stack, guys. Why am I doing that? This thing is really awesome. And I forget it like... Derp. I'm looking forward to playing that, um... That Dusk game. Not Dust. Dusk. With a K. Because I slurred my words really bad, and that's, that's my problem. Wow, I didn't hit the fire breathing thing. But I hit the yellow thing instead. No, 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 no. Got him. Got him. Alright, move on. I know you can farm these right here. Yep. Get these cactus fruit, or thorn fruits. Oh, another chest, but I gotta contend with this guy. Just be careful of their fire breath, it does a pretty good amount of damage. Oop, I don't want to use that. Can I hit you from here? Ow, 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 ow. I can't get out. I was stuck. No point in using fire weapon against him. He's a fire creature. Probably immune to it. Oh, well, we got a new weapon. Dagger. Rate of fire. 6, 3, and 3, 1. This is a two-handed sword. Yeah, daggers are not that great. But you can dual wield them. That's a plus. And throwing weapons, I'm not going to collect. They're, they're, you can't sell them. You can't do anything with them. They, I guess they, they do pretty good amount of damage. So if you want to use them be my guest do so 
Well, I'm not a big fan of them, personally. Snake. Hope you guys are uh, enjoying my Let's Plays. And I wouldn't mind some, some new subscribers. So if you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe. To keep up with all these amazing videos I upload daily. And now I'll be uploading Sundays. For uh, what I'm going to call Throwback Sundays. We're going to be doing Dooms. You know, old games. Old first person shooters or old RPGs. Old games. Stuff that was in my childhood. Stuff I grew up with, you know. All right, now this is going to be tricky. You see this anchor here? There's something up here. See this? There's a bird person, or the avians, and the reason being because there is something up above. So what I'm going to do is do this. <laughs> ah, ah, you failed. You completely, utterly failed. Can I? Yes. Break all this back down again. Okay, four. Right, boop. Boop. Oh. Got to be just the right distance. If it turns red. Nope. Keeps turning red. I'm not trying to waste all my dirt. But I can get dirt anywhere though. Aha, uh -huh, here we are. Welcome to the avian airship. Go to my mining tool. Actually, my scanner. I'm gonna scan all these new things. So many new things. Boop. What you got in here? Oh man, we got pirate jacket. Man, yeah, that looks okay with the pants and stuff. This this hat though. We got a healing color two for pets, and we got this hammer it does 34 damage, rate of fire one, energy wave. Only thing I don't like about these hammers and stuff, they're very slow. Alright, check all these boxes. I'm not going to pick up the throwables. No throwables, man. They just take up inventory space. I don't need the apple either. Same chest. Ooh. Cardboard hat. Here we go. Now, now we're styling. <laughs> check that out. And we got this treasure map. X marks the spot. Decorative. It's only decorative though? Man. It's cool looking though. Think about putting that in your base. That is sweet. They got some cool visuals in this game. Oh, we got quests up here. We're going to hold off on the quest for now. There's just too much to discover, guys. That's why I wanted to say it's just like Trey. There's so much in that game. But I rushed it. I don't want to rush this game. I, just, I really don't. I don't need to take that map. Because if I put it down, I can scan it. If you scan it, then you can make it with pixels. I want all that Duracell, guys. All that Duracell. Oh, yeah. What is this? Dagger. 7726? That one sounds worth it. Oh. Grenade launcher, 1821 and 27.7. And some of these medical kits. Oh, man. This game is spoiling me now. It's spoiling me too bad. We're going to have to erase everything and stop. It's too much. Can't take all the spoilers. Oh, look at that sword. You going to give me these swords? I need a new sword. I've still been using the same two-handed sword, which I do need a new one now. Flares in the bathroom. Makes perfect sense. <laughs> Just in case you fall in, right? <laughs> gotta you gotta signal somebody. Oh yeah. Thirty three eight slow fire rate, but it's probably worth something. Ooh, I like this tapestry here. I'm just stealing all their see these guys are supposed to be uh Pirates and I'm stealing all their booty. Ha! <laughs> what are they gonna do, huh? All these medical kits? Man! This place is spoiling me. Throwing block. Throw a ball item. Block you can throw. Alright, I'm gonna take a stack of this. Because I haven't gotten any of those yet. Yep. 
it, it's so satisfying when you get to you build the next uh, backpack and you move up to the next uh, level of worlds. It is very satisfying. Okay, let's see what we got here. Manifesto of the Grounded. A document written by avians who rejected their culture. We the grounded see through the ground a grand lie they call hooks. The false dream of absolution is a cage in which we refuse to remain any longer. Our people will call us blasphemer, blasphemers, but we are free. We shall sail the skies in ships of our own, making, not on dreams of, dr of wings. We now be, so they, they don't fly, even though they're avians, they don't use their wings to fly. They use airships. Not on dreams of wings, we may now be outcasts. But we shall find communities among the stars that are based on foundations of truth, not falsehoods. Wise words, wise words. At least they're friendly to me. Ooh, is that a monocle? Oh, man. But I like box hat, though. You can't go wrong with box hat. You just can't. We're going to try the monocle on next episode. I'm going to keep box hat for a while. I like box hat. Ooh, I want the steering. Don't run into these. I think they might hurt you. Let's try... Yep. Oh man, that hurt. <laughs> well, you idiot. Why'd you do that? Because I wanted to see if you get hurt. I couldn't remember. <laughs> now you guys know. You get hurt. Alright. Well, I'm going to probably end the episode here. We found a lot in this episode. We went to a new world. We built new armor. We got a box hat. So exciting. This place is spoiling me with all these new treasures and weapons. All right. Well, next episode, we're going to continue exploring these worlds. These new worlds. Because we're going to get some new weapons. We're, we're not going to worry about storyline. We're going to keep advancing in the uh, upgrade department. So by the time we do do the uh, the boss fights, we got a better chance without dying very easily. Because I remember doing the Azra Nox fight with uh, Titanium Armor, I think it was. And she kicked my butt constantly and she did so much damage I, I managed to take her out after a while but after many deaths so what happened is, is that I was too weak for the situation now I'm not going to be if we're going to farm all these levels every time we move up we're going to get a new backpack and therefore we can get new weapons and the next set of armor and then we're going to max ourselves out and then we're going to do the storyline stuff that sounds like a good plan to me Alright guys, I'm going to end it here, and if you'd like to join the Meerkat family and the nation, hit the subscribe button and join today. I, I welcome everyone, young and, and older, doesn't matter, everybody's welcome to my channel. My channel is not full of cursing or, you know, political stuff or gross stuff, not unless it's in-game. And, uh, so everybody's welcome. And if you like my commentary, you find it helpful, funny, or entertaining, hit that, uh, like button to show you support. I need all the support I can right now. I'm trying to make this my full-time job. So I, I'm going to hopefully get paid by YouTube and maybe get some sponsors and whatnot, I hope. And don't forget about that notification bell right next to that subscribe button. You hit that, it'll allow you to keep up with all my latest up, uh, uploads, everything I do on my channel, so you can always be ready for all these cool videos like this one. Alright, well, I'm going to see you guys later. Bye-bye.